Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be all about what fits in my new Saint Laurent wallet on chain. This is the smaller version. You would have seen me unbox this in my luxury haul video when I went to Italy. If you haven't seen that yet, I definitely recommend that you go check out that video and I'll link it down below. But today's video will be all about what actually fits inside that bag. I think I'm gonna split up into two different uh, like ways on how to actually pack this bag, the one way and how I actually pack my bag on like an everyday use, and then also a way for people that are looking and interested in purchasing this bag, how much can you actually fit in it. So I'll do one where you kind of like max the space out, but then I'll also show you how I actually do it because I don't really overstuff my bags. And when I was purchasing this bag, my intention was not to put a lot of stuff in it. I just wanted my essentials. But for people that want to use the most out of this bag, I'll definitely show you what can really fit in it. Uh, with that, let's get started. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Okay guys, so this is my new wallet on chain. Again, this is the smaller version of the wallet on chain. Mine is black with white and silver hardware. The smaller version of the wallet on chain for Saint Laurent does come with this little piece of leather, which definitely helps with the shoulder if you have it. It's a little more heavier. Obviously, if it's lighter, it's not going to make too much of a difference, but I do like how they do add this leather piece onto the chain. It is more of like a uh, silver, almost like metallic chain, so it's a little darker than the actual silver hardware, but um, most of the wallet chains for Sailor Rod are this like little chain material. And then for the inside of the bag, it does come with six card slots, so uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, either on either side, and then one big one on the back that's kind of just like you probably put maybe cash or something in there and then it does come with the zipper pocket so I'll open up the zipper for you guys and that's uh, kind of like the zipper pocket and then it has like this space right here so it's not too big I think this is the perfect size for an evening out or if you're going like I personally bought it to either go to restaurants or going to a play or something where I didn't really want to hold a huge bag. I do love how you can put the chains inside the bag and make it kind of like a clutch so that makes it just like a lot more formal and that is kind of why I also got this colorway because I think it looks really elegant and classy and will work best for what I wanted to use this bag for but they do come in a variety of colors and hardware to choose from but let's just start with what I actually put into this bag. So initially for the last like two weeks, how I've been using this bag is I do put my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder inside. I know you could probably take them out, but I don't want to deal with the hassle of having to keep putting in and out keys and just like dealing with that. So I'd rather just like be able to fit it in here. Um, I do put my AirPods in. And then I actually haven't really used the card holder slots. I'll like try to but yeah I personally think it'd just be like really annoying to put in and out so I personally have been actually using the zipper pocket to put my cards in so I'll just like show you guys I'll just put some like, putting some cards in and I'll put it in here and yeah it's not organized but I think it's a lot easier to get in and out of the bag because personally if I just open this I can have even the zipper open or closed and then I can just like go like this and find it. I usually don't carry too many cards to begin with. I carry just like my MTA, my license, and like one or two credit cards. So I only really have like three credit cards, four or four cards or three cards in at a time, but you can utilize the card holder slots. I personally don't need to because I just don't overstuff it too much. And I think it'd be more of a hassle for me personally. And then I'll probably put like a lipstick right in the middle or in this slot right here. So I can just like put it in there with my cards. And actually let me put it right here because I think that'd be easier. So, and then I could probably zip this up. Sorry guys. And then lock it. And it's not, as you can see, not overstuffed at all. And that's kind of how I have been using my bag so far, just because the reason I bought this bag was just to keep my essentials, which I usually only carry my AirPods, my keys, and a few cards. But let's actually see how we can maximize this space. 
What I envision most people to actually use this bag for is probably going out to a nice restaurant or somewhere where you'd probably need to hold some lipstick, some mascara, maybe a little bit of perfume. So I thought for this part of it, I will try to maximize the bag for going out. And let's start with how to actually do that. Let's start off with using the card slots. I kind of already put them in there, but I'll probably put one more just to show you. And there are six card slots, so you can put up to six cards. I would probably put like my license, my MTA card, and maybe like two credit cards. So that part would be all for your credit cards. Next, let's use the back space. So the very back for some cash. So I put some cash in the back. So in the back, we'll have some cash. The next thing I will be using is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. And I thought this would be great to put my chapstick and a travel size mascara. So I have the Too Faced travel size mascara. And I think these fit perfectly well in the key pouch. And I do think it has some change in the bottom. Here. So you don't have to have change in the bottom, but I thought to maximize the space, you'd probably want to put two of essential items that could fit in the key pouch in there so that you're not like overstuffing and just like plopping things on top but so that things are a little more organized i'll put the key pouch there let's see next um oh you could probably even put the, this is like a little travel size perfume i think i got it for free when i purchased something but i think they're really handy if you're going out and you might need perfume but obviously you don't want a huge perfume so let's put that also in the key pouch so the key pouch I think is all set. These are just like extra lipsticks. I don't, if you need them, if you don't, I'm just trying to see what people would normally use. So let's say, let's just like put this. But there is, so your mascara, your perfume, your chapstick are in there, and the lipstick is right on top. Now you still need to put your keys, so let's see if this will fit. I mean, it will, but you'd be, if you put the key holder here, it would close still, but it obviously be really stuffed. Let's try if we can like move this around a little bit. Again, you don't need this. Let's see if we put them right there. So again, it'd be really pushing on the leather, but it would close and it's not hitting up here. So I think that makes a lot more sense. And then you can still put the lipstick on top. I know most people aren't in the city, so you're not really walking anywhere on the subway, but for those who are, let's put our AirPods right here. And I thought if you're going on a night out, you probably need some type of maybe like gum. I don't know. So we can actually, I would actually cut this up or even just like put a couple pieces in there. So it's just like throw a piece or two kind of in here. So we can use that. So, oh, and I still have cards in here from the last one. So you could probably even put, let's say like a lipstick. Oh, you could probably just put like a little piece of gum right there. Still have your cards in there. Um, pretty much, maybe put another lipstick. And you don't have to really utilize this, I would say, if you're gonna stuff this part of it. And I think that would fit everything you need. So let's try to close it. Okay, so it does close. It is, you can see it's like pushing on the leather or not, not pushing on the leather, but you know, this definitely, if you use it like this a lot, it would probably just like show the wear a lot sooner than if you didn't overstuff it. But I think this fits quite a bit I think I covered the essentials of going on a night out. You would need your cards, some mascara, put lots of lipstick in there, some perfume, some gum, and I put my AirPods, which most people probably wouldn't put their AirPods. That would definitely free up some space. Put my keys in my six ring key holder, which you definitely don't need to do. But for people that don't like to move things around, I think knowing that it can fit in there is definitely a plus. And I use my key pouch to organize putting things in instead of like 
putting them just like all on top and becoming very disorganized. So I think that is pretty much it for what fits in this bag. Um, and yeah, and then you have the cash on the side. So I think it definitely fits a lot, especially if you're going out. I think this, like, I don't think I would ever fill it like this just because I don't need all this stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys for people that were looking to purchase this bag and wanted to see how much it could actually fit. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helped anyone that was looking to purchase uh, the YSL wallet on chain and kind of gave a better idea of what actually could fit inside the bag. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.